All right. <laughs> yeah, that was 4,200 RPM. <laughs> What's up guys all right oh here we go all right guys good morning it is like 4 20 in the morning no elon musk meme jokes about 4 20 but like we got this massive pickup truck chevy silverado 2500 hd i mean whatever anyways guys um sure you guys see from the title of this video we are gonna go check out the chevy corvette z06 it's gonna be a prototype car let's get inside because we gotta get to the airport because we might be running late i don't even know all right guys, so we're at the destination undisclosed. We can't talk about where we are and the car should be coming in shortly. So I'll show you guys right when it's here. Yo guys, it's pulling up. Let's check it out. That is it, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that looks so cool. Oh my God, guys. Hold on, hold on. All right, guys, so uh, we just got finished driving it, but I'm gonna put the clips after this. I'm gonna do a quick walk around real quick to show you guys just how it looks, do that. And, uh, cause this thing looks amazing. All right, so actually let's start with the Z06 first. This right here is the Z06, it's camera out, so you can't see all the details, all the body lines, but we can see a lot, we can see a lot. We got, yeah, obviously you can tell, more aggressive front grill right there. Those nice angles. You'll see, I mean, you can see kind of in the photo that was already out. Going on the wheels, these are Z06 uh, exclusive wheels. You got the brakes that are larger compared to the regular Stingray. Uh, and then these tires are 275, 30, and 20 inch wheels. Going to the back, you can kind of see a larger inlet scoop for the radiator. You need bigger cooling, it's gonna be a bigger engine, which we'll get to in a bit. But then the back, 21 inch, so staggered wheels front compared to the uh, back compared to the front. And these are, I believe, they're also, these are 345. 25 R21, and then if they let me, I think I'd be able to open this. I will open it, show the engine bay. 5.5 liter, guys. I'll put the numbers up here because not all the numbers are finals. You can even hear the water hissing when it hits the engine bay because it's pretty hot. We were just driving it, but what's really cool here is one, these are hand built engines, uh, one man, one engine, which is cool. And you can see the signature right there. The inlet, the in inlet plenum, and the intake system. Apparently really complicated and really cool. It takes advantage of the harmonics, harmonics of a flat plane V8, which is awesome. So you have two banks, there's valving between the two, and that can adjust depending on load, RPM, um, and the sound characteristics they want to get out of it. So similar to what you could do with a valve exhaust, you can kind of do that with the intake. I think it's 11 liters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, as far as the volume of the intake system, which is awesome. And honestly, it looks cool. This isn't final production, guys, but this is roughly what it's going to look like. And what's even cooler, if you go back here, you see the quad-tipped exhaust. I'll put a clip of how it sounds, because it sounds amazing. But it looks really cool. One thing they told me about it was, you see the exhaust right there, you'll see the tips aren't in line with the actual exhaust tips themselves. There's a reason for it. It actually has to do with the sound, and making sure that sound actually resonates inside the cabin so the people outside the car that enjoy the nice sound that also gets to be enjoyed by the driver i'll open this up real quick show you guys here this is the uh, adrenaline red dipped interior and this time for all new thanks to the z06 that's coming out it's exclusive not exclusive actually it's available full red interior it looks really cool a carbon fiber package which comes in the z06 let's talk about the z07 guys this is where things get like kind of turned up to 11 and Boy, does it look amazing. I mean, you can't see too much because it's camera, but we'll point out that look how look how aggressive that front splitter is. It looks so aggressive. It comes out really far forward. Your dive planes, canards, and you also have the, the huge vents in the front. But we can't really see it right here. These are supposed to be carbon fiber wheels. They actually had to paint these in Rustoleum so they're covered so we can't see the beautiful carbon fiber texture. Uh, but that's what they're gonna look like. Just imagine that, but with carbon fiber. You have carbon ceramic brakes, actually the largest carbon ceramic brakes ever put on a Corvette. And dude, they fill up that 20 inch wheel. So on the back, you also get 21 inch, so they're staggered here as well. Carbon ceramic brakes. 
Uh, and it, it just, it, it's so cool. It's just speechless. Going in here to the spoiler, you have this amazing looking spoiler, guys. Downforce was a big priority for the Z07, so that's why you get the, the front dive plane works really nicely with these, uh, the rear wing. Um, and you just get that angle right there, show you guys what that looks like. But that's a walk around on the vehicle. Just real quick, guys, um, I'll put the drive footage right after this, but if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments. Once there's information out, I'll try to answer them. So. Z07 really has a lot of aero. It does. Right okay. So it's got the the most downforce that we've done in a Corvette. The, oh, wow. the ZR1 ZTK was the previous record holder. Wow. So we've got a lot of downforce, and then the drag is slightly less than the ZR1. So it's a, a win-win, you know. Yeah. More of the thing you want, less of the thing you don't want. Exactly. So like the 
choice to go carbon fiber wheels. Can you yeah. tell me a little more about that? Well, I mean, it's better everything, right? The wheel weight is super important yeah, that's uh, mass. for every aspect of the, the car, from ride to uh, um, steering and everything, stiffness, everything gets better yeah. um, with the carbon fiber wheels. Uh, the thing that's probably most interesting to our group as we started to work with them was um, the steering. Uh, you just get a really nice improvement in like the fine directional response. So as you turn in, the car is just a lot sharper. Uh, he was showing, he was really showing yeah. me and you can... Yep. It gives the front uh, an immediate reaction. That turn in. That there's no inertia up there that's resisting that input, you know, where you a big inch up there is going to kind of take some time to wind up. Yeah. yeah. So, and I'm sure it's more so. It's like it's more so with carbon. Yeah. In fact, we, we had to make um, calibration changes in the steering system to make the carbon wheels to get the most advantage out of them. Mm, okay. Uh, you kind of left a little on the table if you just left the steering totally the same between the two. Yeah. But if you take advantage of that super crisp response, uh, the car's the steering is fantastic with the carbon wheels. I bet. Um, Weight savings, and then I bet once they're ready, they will be seen by the public. They'll look awesome. Oh, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, the raw carbon. And like I said, it was horrible to have to paint them with the yeah, yeah. spray paint. Oh, yeah, this cool. is, uh... <laughs> oh, that is. You know, when, when you're when you're in that mode where you can free rev the car, um, the throttle response is really turned up. Whereas if you had it that way when you're just driving around, it would be annoying. It'd be constantly surging and jerking. Yeah. Uh, so we spent a lot of time with making sure that the depending on what you're doing with the car, that all that stuff is tuned to be drivable. We've yeah. never had a Corvette that you can't drive across country and we don't intend for this one to be any different. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So that is peak power. But in sport and track mode, you know, we, we gear it towards the most torque we can deliver all the time. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Try it. I'll show you what I can do in a second. It's about all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That was 4,200 RPM. So wow. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Not a lot of grip. What's your favorite part of the new, the Z07 specifically? The tire. The tire? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and it, it kind of, I guess I should say, the tire and everything it let us do. So the higher spring rates, all the chassis components that went with the tire. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, when you get the car on track, it's it, it's a whole different animal. It's just an amazing yeah. which group it is. Um, especially when you go from one to the other, when you get out of the, I mean, the PS4S car is amazing, right? It's going to have shockingly good lap times. Then you jump in and see the step up with the cup. It's a phenomenal tire. So, yeah. We actually started with the Z06 with quite a bit softer spring rates, more like a Z51. Uh -huh. And that was kind of the idea was that you would start with a, a slightly, uh, you know, kind of just put the powertrain in, but not do anything crazy with the chassis. But then we built this car with the high spring rates, and we said, oh man, this is magic. Yeah. We got to bring the Z06 up here. Oh really? So initially, initially it was it was going to be a, a different tuning, and we we found that we just loved it, so we moved all the that is cool. tuning up. Um, I think it's something about the big wide tires and the wide body. Uh, both cars have stiffer bushings yep. uh, and nearly solid upper control arm bushings, um, and all that plays together with these high spring rates. Uh, really nice. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome to know too. That like the, the initial decision was like okay, but then after seeing how how well it performed, yep. you guys carried it over and gave that to the Z06. Exactly. Yeah, and without any real detriment, I don't think anybody's going to complain about the, the ride in the Z06. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, you really get the wheel spinning. All the time, yeah. <laughs> but it's controlled. It's not like the car's going to like completely... No, know, it's yeah. Not, it's completely, you know... Yep, and the, you know, we do, we do traction tuning. Uh, up in Kinross in the snow and ice with these cars. We'll be shoveling snow with that splitter. No way. Uh, yep, yep, to make sure that it's robust. So yeah, these have all been heavily calibrated in rain and snow and ice yeah. and everything else. Yeah, that's sort of the benefit of uh, a GM supercar is that we don't, a big company like GM doesn't have a way to say that car doesn't need to do that. Mm. So all of our standard testing, you know, the, the grit trough and the pothole testing and the, all these things that make the car really robust as a, as a daily driver, uh -huh. we don't get a pass. Nobody says, well, because it's a Corvette, you don't have to do that one. Uh -huh. um, so you end up with a really robust car. You, you know, it, it's good in the snow and ice. It's, it, it'll go through a grid trough. It'll afford a certain amount of water. Uh -huh. um, all that stuff has to still happen on this. Uh, and I think it's for everybody's benefit. It just, yes. it just gets to be better. So the, like the, the 
exhaust bezels on this car, they float in the fascia. Typically a Corvette has had the tip, the exhaust tip attached to the exhaust pipe. Okay. Now our tips are, you know, in the rear fascia and the pipe stops short of the tip. Um, and we do that because we can shape the tip like a reverse trumpet and shoot yeah, yeah. the sound forward. That's um, how we get to hear the beautiful sound. Exactly, that's how you get a lot of it in the car. And that relationship of the exhaust tip to the inside of that bezel is super critical to how much that sound goes which direction. Mm. And that was all done in a computer. It was all wow. done with simulation. Yeah, so um, it's been a huge help and more so every day. I mean, every day the job changes towards simulation yeah. in the workforce. It makes the makes everything faster. Faster, yeah, more accurate. You're not as you're not as vulnerable to vehicle vehicle changes. All kinds of benefits for it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming out. Okay guys, you just saw the drive portion right there. Obviously there's a ton of cool tech that is in these the, the Z06 and then obviously the Z07 um, as we were able to get to hear from the engineers, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, again, huge thank you to the Corvette team. I had to get an umbrella, guys, because I was getting drenched. Uh, forgot about the rain and that was an, actually th an actual thing. So, um, but guys, check these out. Huge shout out again to the Corvette team. team I really appreciate it. Um, it's an awesome experience and a once in a lifetime thing you don't really get to see and drive in a prototype vehicle so honestly crazy experience i can't wait for, to see these on the road i can't wait to see what it actually looks like without the cam on I mean, we saw the z06 but not the z07 so this thing's gonna be crazy once it's on the road it's gonna sound amazing you guys are gonna have to hear that on the road it's gonna be crazy so again guys i'm hyped nervous as you guys can probably tell so yeah i will see you guys 